welcome to Seed to Life. We are almost on the brink of the new year. The new year and the new beginnings. The tiny seeds and the tiny seedlings. Winter is coming on strong in my region. Most of my 2020 annuals are gone. That doesn't mean I'm going to stop gardening. I have already started preparing for the spring by starting seeds indoor or under grow lights. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my new grow light installation and go over some general questions about grow lights, like what exactly grow lights are, different types of grow lights and using them properly to get the best out of them. This video is sponsored by Mars Hydro Grow Lights and the model I'm showing to you is Mars Hydro TS 600W LED Grow Lights. I will post their link in the description below if you are interested. Most of us gardeners want to keep growing new plants throughout the year. But I'm pretty sure that many of us can't do that because the weather doesn't permit. Using a grow light during winter months can save our plants and help you start new seedlings ahead of time so that you don't have to wait until the temperature gets better. It is also useful to give a stable environment to the seedlings in the early period when they are very sensitive to bright lights. So you can use grow lights in, even in summer for starting fall plants as well. What exactly are grow lights and how do they help us? Grow light is a replacement for the natural sunlight that can contain either full spectra of lights like the sun's light or it may even contain specific spectral distribution that plants like. We know that sunlight even though it looks white is a mixture of different colored lights that come together to give us natural sunlight. The leaves of the plants contain different pigments in them like chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, beta carotene and there are many other supplementary pigments. And out of these pigments, chlorophyll A pigment is necessary for the plants to make food using sunlight and that is what we call as photosynthesis. Even though all these pigments absorb energy from different colored lights, chlorophyll A which is responsible for the growth of new leaves absorbs mainly blue light. The blue light has shorter wavelength compared to red lights and has higher energy. On the other hand, red or purple lights are important for different life processes of plants like seed germination, shade avoidance, flowering time, vegetative development, root growth and nutrient uptake. So both the lights are important. When this blue light is combined with other lights like red, purple and other spectrum of lights, it is even more beneficial to the plants. I hope I made it easy enough to understand because I am not planning to go in lot of technical details today. Now the light that I am going to show you today is Mars Hydro TS600W. You can see the packing is good to prevent any damage to the lights. The light is really lightweight. It has this central white panel that has LED lights in rows. And this panel is then secured in an aluminium tray. You can see this tray is very shiny and I will tell you why. The reflectors are added to the grow lights to provide uniform level of light to the plants below. Especially when they are at a distance from the plants. So the reflectors are angled or designed such that the spread of light is uniform. You can see here these small squares are LEDs. This particular model has 225 LEDs. Using LEDs is a new technology whereas the first grow lights were incandescent bulbs. The same lights with the filaments that we sometimes use or used to use before. The problem with that is that the bulbs last only for 1000 hours and they are poor source of blue light. Also, they create a lot of heat that can damage the delicate seedlings. They cannot be kept closer than 3 feet from the plants. Then there are fluorescent lights, but the intensity of the light obtained from these lights is comparatively low. And even though they give out more blue light, they also give out poor red light. And they can be expensive. 
and now we can get our hands on this latest technology LEDs. It is available to us just like it is to any professional growers. These small squares are LEDs and each, each of them provide light to the growing plant. It is well distributed so reaches to all parts equally. These reflectors also help to provide uniform lights to the illuminated area. So it is not just concentrated at the center and uh, less on the periphery. It is equal in all the parts that it illuminates. I had read the specifications of Mars Hydro and according to that these lights contain full spectrum light uh, between 3000K and 5000K. So it, I believe it should include the blue light that is similar to sunlight that is typically at noon the color temperature of the sunlight is about 5000K. It also includes some other spectrum and provides infrared light from 660 nanometers to 760 nanometers that is the red light. This light comes with four hooks with the metallic cords similar to that used for hanging photo frames and a pair of these black ropes or cords that you can use to hang the light. These are adjustable and you can adjust the height of the light easily. It also comes with an instruction manual and power cable for the electric supply. If you have already decided where you are going to keep your plants then the installation is not difficult. The light is very light and I am not planning to drill any screws because I have decided to hang it in this corner next to our staircase. We just hung it using the cords on our staircase and then adjusted it such that it stays at the center of this table. I am going to use this table to germinate some seedlings during this winter and later we will keep some decorative plants here and this spot is perfect for the light. Now to keep the light at the center I had to use these additional straps. These are actually car straps that you use to stabilize the stuff on the car but I am going to use it here for the light. But you can use even simple thread and it shouldn't be a problem because the light is really light. And I am all set now. Let's see how much area a grow light covers. It depends on the watts. A thousand watt grow light can cover up to seven square feet area. This grow light is actually hundred watts and according to their specification they say that it is perfect for two feet by two feet at wedge state. That means when the plants are growing leaves. Whereas it is uh, good for 1.5 by 1.5 feet area when the plants are blooming. That means they are producing flowers and if uh, we use the reflective tents then we can maximize the effect. Now let's see how far the grow light should be from the plants. It depends on the stages of development of the plants. If the light source is away from the plants then the stem grows longer and the seedlings look thready. Most of the energy goes in reaching up to the light than the growth of the leaves. So it is important for the light to be placed at a proper distance. For seed germination and new seedlings, the appropriate distance is 24 inches or 2 feet. For plants to grow leaves, the distance from the light should be reduced to 18 inches or 1.5 feet. And for the blooming plants or flowering to happen, it should be placed 12 to 18 inches away from the light source. Now if you are using high intensity grow lights then you will have to adjust the distance accordingly depending on the product that you are using. Let's see for how many hours you can use the grow light daily. It is recommended that the grow light is used for at least 15 hours a day when there is no additional sunlight. But if you are using, as a, uh, using it as a supplementary light that means you are getting some sun but because the plant needs more hours of sunlight then you can adjust the hours accordingly. It also depends on the needs of the plants and the product that you are using. For example Mars Hydro recommends using it for about 18 to 20 hours uh, for veg state that is the, when the plants are growing leaves and 12 hours for the bloom stage that means when the plants are flowering. I tried germinating some radish and shiso seeds under this light and I want to show you how they are doing today. Radish seeds germination time is uh, shorter, it is about 1 to 3 days. On the second day itself I saw 2 to 3 seeds sprouting.
and these are the seedlings after four days. The shiso seeds will take longer because their germination time is about two to three weeks. But you can see these tiny radish seedlings and they are so cute. So that's it for now. I have tried to include the common questions about grow lights in this video. I hope you found them useful. A big thanks to you for watching my videos and supporting my channel Seed to Life. Please click subscribe for more such videos and updates. Click the bell icon to get notified about future videos. And feel free to reach out to me through comments, Facebook, Twitter or Instagram. If you have any questions, I am posting the links in the description. I would love to hear your suggestions and would like to know the news of your garden. Happy gardening. Thank you again. See you soon.